Some people call the generation of kids today the millennials. Well, we're now calling them the ESPN generation in some circles. Joining us now, Dr. Chris Stankovich, sports psychology expert, is here to talk about TV's glamorization of sports and the effect that it has on our kids, specifically their learning skills. It's a real challenge, Chris, because the kids, they watch ESPN, they see those slam dunks, and that looks really cool, but there's a lot of other stuff that goes on in just particularly one sport. Yeah, it really is the ESPN generation, and we kind of use that in a generic sense. There's so many different media outlets today, and, and usually the highlights are full of the really glamorous plays, and that's a lot of fun for us to watch but sometimes we wonder if kids start to emulate that too much and forget the basic fundamentals that are vitally important to athletic success and then I'm assuming that kids want to be more of the star and maybe want to be the quarterback instead of like a lineman or something in football so how do we foster kids um, developing other areas of a sport or finding their own niche well I just think the most important thing for parents to do as they're watching ESPN and other shows uh, you know that have sport highlights to process that with your child uh, certainly enjoy it, the oohs and ahs are great, but make sure uh, when the time is right to process with your child by talking to him or her about the importance of all the little things on that play that you didn't see. Maybe the, the lineman making a great block or somebody else, uh, you know, blocking a player for a great assist or a pass or something like that. Uh, it's just important to talk about that and raise awareness, I think, more than anything. Right, and I think we've, we've talked about this issue before when we've uh, sat down, but not every kid is going to be the next LeBron James, and if that's what they're seeing on ESPN or whatever show they're watching every kid wants to be that at a young age but there's only a few people that are actually going to do that yeah I mean there aren't too many LeBron James <laughs> uh, type of players out there and you know I think to your point not every child is going to be the quarterback wide receiver or the point guard I mean a team consists of a lot of what we call role players and that doesn't diminish their importance but they don't often get the highlight real material uh, for their position and there's lots of enjoyment we should stress in sports for kids kids of all ages from a young age they don't have to stick with it all the way into college or they if they would become professionals but there's all kinds of levels that kids can find great things from sports absolutely I mean there's so many good things uh, just being on a team with other kids might be the most important part of it all uh, getting to, to learn about people and new friendships and uh, so much of this can be applied later in life just with the way you lead others and are part of work teams and so on mm, sure can well thank you so much once again dr. Chris Stankovich sports psychologist if you want to learn more about this topic we talked about today just head to our website ohionewsnow.com